I, I just came out of a press conference from across the street at the Federal Trade Commission. What they were doing is today was warning consumers about all the grant scams that are on the web that are getting like hundreds and even thousands of dollars from people, promise them you know, money from the government. They even have a lot of pictures of Obama and you think it's a government, you know, or it's Obama's official website when it's really not. Watch, watch some of this interview from the uh, press conference. Now first, let's talk about the scams. There are two kinds of scams we're warning about. First, there are websites, some featuring photos of President Obama and Vice President Biden, claiming that the stimulus package provides easy to obtain grants for virtually anyone who applies. They announce receive free money and then offer compelling testimonials describing people who used grant money to pay off their mortgages, buy or fix their homes, pay off their debts. The second kind of scam, email messages that say you're eligible for economic stimulus payments and need only send a response email with personal information or fill out an online form giving your personal information. These first slides are from the website PresidentObamaGrants.com. The first page, Jessica's Money Blog, is all over the internet. When you click on the link on Jessica's Money Blog to get your free grant kit, you land on the second page where we have President Obama, CNN, MSNBC, and CBS News all seemingly to want you to know that you can get $25,000 in free grant money to pay off your debts. Now, you'll note on the right side you enter your personal information and, and just send it in to get your grant kit. And when you do that, you may not even see the kicker, which is slide three. If you don't read these lengthy terms and conditions before sending in your payment for $1.99, a seemingly minimalist amount of money, you may not realize that this website charges $1.88 to begin your membership. Okay, you were sort of on board for that. But then, if you don't cancel within 14 days, and there is a very detailed and complicated cancellation procedure described in the text, you will be billed a one-time fee of $99. But wait, there's more. On top of the $99 fee, you'll be charged an extra $49.95 every month for access to an online resource center. And if that wasn't costly enough already, the website will enroll you in a second program, a 21-day trial of a debt-related site, and you will then be billed at the rate of an additional $29.95 per month. So after a year, if you don't cancel, you will have been charged more than $1,000. If people want to find out more about the stimulus plan, bookmarkrecovery.gov, that's the website where you'll find information on where the money from the President's stimulus plan is going. And then bookmark, I would say even before you bookmark, recovery.gov, <laughs> bookmark ftc.gov. That's where you can find information about how to recognize a whole variety of scams that you may run into online or off, and again, where you can file a complaint about anything that you see that disturbs you. So when you're out there shopping for help and finding out about government programs, be careful. There's a lot of people out there that are trying to rip you off and charge you hundreds or even thousands of dollars for this stuff. Now, the money is out there, and nobody could promise you that you're going to get it, you know, by next Tuesday. It takes work, you know. And we've been studying this for 25 years, so we feel we're the best in America that could tell you about the programs that you're eligible for.